Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play the Seventh Saga. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, I had to grind a little bit for gold. And I did. I leveled up like twice in the process, which you know, I don't mind. It's freaking monsters that are doing hundreds of damage to me at a time. I can do all the murder that I so please. So, I did grind for the gold, but I want to try to find where this guy's uh, secret passage that leads to his airship is in the first place. I'm wondering if it ain't in one of these uh, places, like, because you can walk behind these bookshelves here. I don't know whether or not you would have to actually physically search it, like go into the menu, hit search, and all that fun stuff. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, found it. Saved myself like 7,000 gold. Stop! Unless you have a pass, this area is off limits. Get out. Ah. Uh, there's the trick. Don't talk to anyone. Alright. Let's see if we can't do this without uh, spending 7,000 gold. Don't get me wrong. 7,000 gold is nothing when you think about it, especially for. Oh. I guess that's a dead end. It's kind of nothing when it comes to... Oh. It's really nothing when it comes to anything in this game. Especially at this point. Like, I can make 7,000 gold in... I don't know, 14 battles? Oh! Hello! Sapphire. Nice. Look at that. That's 2,500 gold right there. I think. Don't quote me on that. Alright, uh, probably shouldn't talk to anyone with the risk of being tossed out. I just really want to find myself uh, any more remaining loot that is here before taking off, as it were. Ah, more loot. In water? How useless! Okay. In water, sapphire. Can I get some power seeds or something? A ruby? Rubies are nice. So, uh, quickly looking up, because I had to look it up because I had the fort sword in my inventory. The fort sword is only usable by Valsu and Esuna. And it's a fairly powerful sword, but I can't wield it as Camille. Or Chad. So, are we leaving now? Yes. Ready? Off to Melanam we go. I just saved myself 7,000 gold. And off we go, flying to the continent of Malinam. Should be able to find a lot of valuables since technology is so advanced here. Sweet! I love technology. You're not allowed here without proper authors. Oh, well that's a fast way off of the airship. Oh hey! It was a Tetogen over here. Only authorized personnel are allowed to enter. Okay. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. Hmm. I wonder when it was that the Tetujin became more of a sentient being. Okay, I I'm, I'm gonna guess that each and every one of those Tetujin... Tetujin... Something like that. Each have their own dialogue of, You are not permitted to enter. The airport straight ahead. Man, so advanced it has an airport. My dad is the greatest scientist. I'm sure he is, kid. I'm sure he is. <clears throat> Let's talk to you. We're developing a special weapon in the underground town. With this weapon, we know we can defeat Gorsia. That doesn't sound like a terrible thing. I mean... The killing essentially the devil. S sounds fun. Sounds good. Sounds like a very, uh... Very noble act. 
Nothing could possibly go wrong with this. Also, there are a lot of freaking doors. So many doors. Holy crap, look at all these doors. This video is going to be nothing but me checking out door after door. Relax, we have the technology of Melinam. Even Gorsia shouldn't be difficult to defeat. <laughs> ah, I see that uh, you are a very humble man. How about you? Are you as humble? Since sorrow is beaten, we must fight for ourselves. This is true. I mean, not like there's anyone else in this world that can take on the guy. And this is a dead end, unless... Nope. I'm probably missing a plethora of other uh, hidden objects, but to be honest, most of the hidden objects that I have found are all hidden objects that I was looking through the walkthrough and just happened to notice that they were there. Scientists are determined to defeat Gorsia. Good on them. Tis a thing worth doing. You know, protecting humanity and whatnot. There's an underground development lab in this town where many scientists are working on various projects. Oh, that's the Gorsia part that we know, isn't it? I wonder if this up above ground area looks anything like a... Uh, because when we had first discovered Melinam, we had discovered it in a state of complete and total messed upness. Like, we had just found the underground section. Only privileged people live in this town. It is known for its high society. This is the town of Melinam, known for great scientific technology, as opposed to non scientific technology. God damn it. Is there anyone in this town? And this is, is this an actual continent continent that we're on? Can I, like, sit around here, grind for a little bit of money? Oh. A store. Item shop? Yeah, it's an item shop. <sighs> Diamonds. Okay. I mean, if we ever get to the point where I need to save up money to buy diamonds. How's the healing? I'm gonna guess that the next two are the weapon shop and the arm shop. Oh no, that's the... Tis the inn. Might as well stay here for the rest. So many goddamn houses here. <laughs> uh, is this one? Okay. Weapon shop. Ah, uh, Doom, which I already have. Oh, and there's the Kryn Fist, which is one of... The only, I think, two weapons that Lux the Tetsujin can have. Let's see, though. Talk to you. Any new armor? The Kryn armor. Oh, I could have totally have... Ah. Wait, no, I wasn't in the other town. I just have to change her from the... Imo? I don't know what that is, but I want it. I can already tell you guys that there's going to be some more grinding from me. Okay, where's these stairs go? Where's these stairs go? Oh, I'm gonna guess that this leads down into the underground scientific society of people making stuff to kill giant godlike beings. You're... Look at this place. It's all gray and mechanical. It must be highly scientific and technologically advanced. The scientists and engineers are arguing about how to develop the weapon. The weapon. Oh, automatically opening doors. I'm not sure whether I should go along with the plan or not. In a moment of weakness, I often think about my hometown, Palsu. I don't know where that is. Is it close? Because if it's close, we could probably go over there and be all like, Hey, what's up, Palsu? Palsu? Another one in there, either. A giant waste of time coming down here, wasn't it? Unless this just leads to more plot progression. Da, 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 da. I'm also just enjoying the song, because... Love this song. I can't talk to the door, but the door is locked. 
Oh, I think this path was the path that leads to where we had first entered Melinan. You know, well, uh, in the future. Which is my past. God, time travel is weird. Imagine, if you will, that you had the opportunity to go back into the past. And you had to explain that you are from the future. And all that fun stuff. It's... I'm sure that besides, you know, people looking at you like you're a goddamn idiot and belong in an insane asylum, you know, if insane asylums existed in the time when, anyways, they're too busy and involved in their research to keep the lab clean and organized. I've tried to keep this place in order in the past. I won't be able to do that anymore since I am leaving for Palser to get married. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Leave as soon as you can. Do not litter. My mission is to keep the town clean. Man, people aren't even responsible enough to do that. Well, this is a dead end. That was a weird looking wall. Yeah, just try and imagine going back like 5,000 years into the past and being all like, Oh, hey, I'm from the future. This, that, and the other thing aren't gonna happen. But since you don't know them in vivid detail, like, you'll get just the wrong details wrong, so... I don't know. I, I overthink time travel, but time travel is one of those things you kind of have to overthink because they make no goddamn sense. Uh, especially if you end up doing those one events that those one or two events that end up stopping you from existing in the first place, and then it just becomes this giant time paradox. Like, oh, he didn't go and he went into the past and ended up making it so as he didn't exist in the first place. So he can't have traveled into the past and changed those events, but since he changed those, since he didn't change those events, he exists. It's one of those things. Alright, so let's try to find this Paul Su place. Not that way. There's gonna be nasty things on this continent, aren't there? That is not a dur- uh, that, that is not a Durgan. I think that's actually weaker than a Durgan. That's a Dogan. <laughs> Dragon, Durgan, Dogan. Okay, developers. <laughs> I didn't- I only remembered- Oh god, I only really remembered the names of, like, the Serpent Lady. Being called, uh, Griffin and- that sort of shit, not like the dragons being called Dogans or Durgans or Monmo? Was that the name of that one that I had faced before facing off against uh, Gorissa? I believe it was uh, Monmo the Dragon. I guess they just wanted additional other names for dragons that weren't, you know, dragons, but, you know, then you got drakes, you got, uh, wyverns, ampithier, ampithiers, I, I don't know how that one's pronounced. You are not a despair, you're not a doom, demise? One of the fun things is trying to fake, like, if you remember the theming of their things, you just... Oh, a vacuum. Hmm. Just trying to figure out what the name of the creature is now. So, yeah, Despair, Doom, I'm gonna go with Demise. Alright, I'm gonna kill it. Anyone that's, uh, in the video right now, pause the video, go down into the comment section and place your bets. Place your bets. Oh, Reaper. I was so goddamn wrong. Also, only 881 experience for the Reaper? I got more experience from the Dogans. Jesus. Alright, this must be Palsu. And of course, I run into something before running into Palsu. This is gonna hurt. Oh good, one of them ran away. <laughs> uh, I'm also just glad- oh. These guys also heal. Ow! God 
damn spirits suck. Alright. Palsu? Oh, man. Compared to... Yeah, this is Palsu. Compared to the... You know, civilization of Melinam. This place is rather chill. Rather, you know... Nice and easy going. I mean, look at it. This basic rustic attire. Stone houses. I like stone houses. Hell, I would love to live in like a stone... Uh, red brick house. Properly insulated, of course, because, you know, I don't want to freeze during winter. Oh, yeah. So at this point, there's only one other weapon that I can wield. Well, he doesn't have it. He's got all the armors. There's only one other weapon that I can possibly wield. And that's the Victory Sword. It has the highest attack out of all the weapons that Chad can wield. Unfortunately, it is pretty expensive. 29,500 gold. Okay. Hmm. I don't have enough stuff to get 29,500 gold. <laughs> ah, I should have remembered that. Oh well. Uh, item shop. I might as well see what items we might need. Uh, nothing of particular use for me right now. Hmm. Oh well. Ah, might as well talk to the old man. Many bright young people from this town are working in Melina. I mean, probably because it's the only... It's essentially the, you know, big town that's just in the distance of a little village. Many people who wish to visit Melinam are stranded here because of the monster's frequent appearance. I haven't heard from it, my father in Melinam either. Well, that sucks for you, kid. Uh, it sucks a lot. Especially considering uh, a great tragedy befell Melinam. I hear Melinam is more advanced than any other country. It's not a hard thing considering we're in a fantasy RPG where I'm using a sword to kill stuff. I don't know if that's a constant thing in a lot of these in the world. Every young person has gone to Melanam and only old people and children are left in the town. That's not a good thing. Your your civilization's gonna die. That's that's what I'm saying. Are you from Melanam? My son Tafuro is working there. If you're returning to Melanam, will you take this letter to him? Thank you very much. I'm sure my son will be very happy. I mean, what does your son look like? C can you tell me that at the least? What's... What does this tough rogue guy look like? Is that seriously all that was here? A weapon shop, an armor shop, an item shop, and a bunch of old people and kids. Man, it's like my worst nightmare. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I could have done something else in here. Come on. Nope. Okay. I cannot get to the sides, which means we must go back. Do I have wind balls? Yes, I got wind balls. <sighs> I can't go back to Melinam like that. I actually have to physically go back all the way to Melinam. Wind balls are useless because I'm in the past. Well, at least it wasn't a long trek. Not too long of a trek, anyways. Hello, Dogen. And of course, if I don't do a repost hit, it's not going to do any additional damage. And those fights will just go on for too long. Ah. Uh. I already forgot how close it was to Melinam. Don't ask me why. Ugh. Only reason why I dislike fighting any of these guys is because of their instantaneous death attacks. Ugh. And I guess they're fireballs. Honestly, fireballs not that heinous of an attack to face off against in this. I can survive a fireball attack. In theory. 
maybe I'll need to level up a few more times in order to just, you know, brush it off like I had used the light rune. <sighs> God, I missed the light rune already. I, d I haven't even used the light rune all that much when I was in possession of it, but I miss it. I miss all the runes. I mostly miss the moon and the star one. Because those were fan freaking tastic. I kind of miss the wind rune because I'd rather not worry about whether or not I have enough wind balls to travel around the world. Uh, okay, so where's this Tofuru guy gonna be? Is he a scientist? He's probably not a scientist, is he? Maybe he is a scientist. Yeah, let's check really quickly. I'm pretty sure that... Um... He might be a scientist. That's down developing a weapon to defeat the all-powerful Gorsia. That probably would be far less confusing if they had kept it with the whole... Oh, this is God, this is the devil sort of thing. It'd be a less cumbersome to try to remember names and for me anyways. Cause you know, Gariso, Gorcia, Saro, which sounds like Garo, so I constantly think his name is Garo. Yeah, maybe it's this way, where that locked book book? Not a book. What am I thinking? Still locked. Okay. I guess I'll go talk with some of the scientists. And hope that one of them is Tofuro. I'm just gonna call him Tofu. Which is not like Nakatalili's Tofu from Final Fantasy. Scientists and engineers. Whoa. Were there no one in these two? I'm pretty sure I was just here. Yep, no one was in those two. So either everyone is behind that locked door, or... You have a letter from me from my mother. Thank you for the delivery. Yay! There isn't much I can do to return the favor, but I thought you might be interested in our new project. Would you like to see it? Sure. Let's go to the laboratory. And now we follow this guy, step by step. Day by day. Oh, he's gonna take us through the locked door. That's right. I remember things that happen. Not really. I'm terrible at remembering things. Hell, I was told this guy's name like 20 minutes ago, and then I fell back on calling him Tofu. So what's this big project they're working on? Oh, I remember seeing that. Get the opinions of everyone first, then meet Dr. Fail. Dr. Fail. This project is too risky. This isn't an ordinary tetrogen. We can invoke the evil might of the Dark World and use that power for our purposes. We call it FOMA. If you want to know more about it, ask Dr. Fail. He's in the back room. Oh yeah, just tap right into the dark powers to defeat the thing that uses dark powers. We don't have any time to spare now that Sorrow was defeated. Well, don't risk it. I strongly object to the plan. Making a machine like that is just too dangerous. Well, have like a trigger or something, you know? Work it like a gun. Don't make it some sort of giant freaking robot that will gain its own sentience. It's the only option we have now. It's not a very good one. If we succeed with this project, we will prove that we are more powerful than Sorrow. Take into context that Sorrow in the original Japanese was named God. I, I think that's one of the whole... Uh, it's still possible considering our technological development. So this is the back room, but I want to see who's down here. Oh! It's a little stock room. Okay. Yeah, this this is the stairs we came up from in the future. Which means that that is the door which leads to... Let's talk to Dr. Fail. Still, Dr. Fail. Mm. Could 
picked so many better names, guys. Enix, just saying. There's better names out there. Translation team sucks. This is Dr. Fail. He was in charge of the project. Did you see that Tetrogen, my masterpiece? I'm afraid that we aren't we are trying to accomplish is too dangerous. The Dark World should be left alone. We shouldn't touch it. We'll be able to defeat Gorsia with that power, but we're not certain whether we can control it afterwards. Foma may be become a worse enemy than Gorsia. So I'm thinking of terminating the project. Just have to wait until the next sorrow a lot arrives. I mean, that, that's a very responsible res response from you, sir. I, I'm glad that someone around here doesn't think it's a very smart idea to tap into the dark world. But that might just be me. Apparently it's not just me, it's also Dr. Fail's opinion on that matter. Ugh. Imagine having to face that thing, like, actually face that thing, like it's some sort of giant boss monster or something. Man, that would be heinous as hell. So I wonder which way I'm supposed to go now. I delivered the letter. Uh, Tofu there is all appeased by it. Maybe I should go up to the, to the inn and rest. I mean, yeah, I haven't taken a lot of HP and damage, but meh. You never know. It'd be really nice to have some rest beforehand and saving. Because, let's face it, some pretty terrible stuff could go down. Unless there's another place I have to go to. Damn it. Times like this, I kind of wish I did have that fortune seat. Fortune. <sighs> the fortune teller. That's the word I'm looking for. The fortune teller that's in that first town we had been in. Where was it I was? I had the fortune teller? The one with Bonro? Is that his name? See? I'm terrible with names. I'm terrible at remembering everything. Ah, uh, telemenonym. I still find it bullshit that I can't use the wind ball. Can I use the wind ball now? Damn it. Um... You know, we checked out what's to the west, but you know what? Next the video, let's check out in the east, because we hadn't gone in that direction. But we'll do that next time. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.